City Gateway was set up by local residents from local churches here in Tower Hamlets, and it was set up to bring hope to the local community. Um, and we do that today mainly by engaging young people and women who are unemployed and training them up with the qualifications, skills and experiences that they need to progress in life. And we mainly do that by progressing them into uh, work through uh, something called apprenticeships. And this particular project is our pre-apprenticeship program and it's funded by ESF and it's a really crucial part of what we do here at City Gateway. Because it's the bridge, if you like, between the young people coming on to the training, um, which is mainly focused on um, them getting the vocational qualifications, but also the soft skills that they need to progress in life. And the, and the starting, if you like, in, into real employment as part of an apprenticeship, it bridges the two and it's a crucial part of what we do. Um, at City Gateway there's a number of staff to, who are involved in that delivery and it's mainly in three kind of areas. The first is the tutors and they're the guys who are essentially teaching the qualifications, the, the hard skills if you like that they need to really be able to get the job in the first place but also to be able to progress in life. And then you've got the support workers, we call them attention workers who provide the kind of mentoring support, the teacher assistant classroom support if you like and really helping to deal with a number of the different challenges that the young people may be facing in City Gateway but also outside. Um, and that could be anything from homelessness, homelessness issues um, and other kind of personal issues, if you like, which are holding them back, if you like, or creating barriers in their progression. The third group is our employment progression workers, and they're crucial in regards to this program because they're the guys that actually are looking at what the next step could be for the young people and then supporting them to start in their apprenticeship, but crucially, particularly in regards to this project, helping them to sustain that employment for at least six months and more into the future.